So we're here with Andrew Brown. He's the winemaker for Watermill Winery. I'll uh, do a quick pan around here and you can hopefully see the winery building there. There's the facility where they make the wine at and the cider. And uh, anyway, Andrew, I'm, as you probably know, I'm out here to talk to people about uh, the whole Milton Free Water side, the Oregon side of the Walla Walla ABA. Yeah. And uh, I know you've had experiences with fruit from both sides of the border. So what is it that, if you could tell any person out there about this particular part of the Walla Walla ABA that they should know about and that makes it unique, what would you say? You know, I think, uh, boy, this would be better answered by Lambert, honestly. Yeah. Um, but uh, my family's been growing, growing fruit here uh, since the 50s. And uh, it's it's honestly um, it's predominantly where you saw a lot of the fruit tree growth uh, growing in the valley. You know what I mean? And I would say more than anything, probably elevation is on our side, um, and then that ability to control growth because we don't catch an abundance of the rain on this uh, kind of on this west side of the of the valley. Um, well, it's kind of southwest side. Um, so I you know I think I think. Not that good fruit can't be grown on the other side. I think we just tend to see uh, better patterns that, that allow us to have that control in the vineyard. You because know? of your unique, your, the unique microclimates over here, right? You got it. Yeah. You got it. I so, mean, that pretty much hits it. And then, and then unique soil, uh, you know, different soil types. And, and uh, that certainly uh, gives us uniqueness uh, on both sides of the valley. You know, that uh, kind of the, the northeast uh, spots where, you know, like where... Uh, Oh, uh, you know, it's one of McKibbins. It's the one that Shane farms up there. Lake Lane. Lake Lane. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's got same thing. You know, a little different microclimate, a little different mm -hmm. soil composition. Same at Pepper Ridge. Yeah. Um, you know, I think uh, they're all unique, and I think you take them for what they are. Yeah. Know? But I think that uh, we really haven't got the recognition that uh, is uh, is due to you know this this uh, south southwest side of the valley. Um, well, I think a lot of that in part is because people pick up a bottle of, of Walla Walla, and I say that in quotes, wine, and they don't ever think or they're never really told about what side of the board it's coming from. Absolutely. You know? and most people don't really know that uh, there's a, you know, there is a, a state line that uh, a man -made comes border. right yeah. between us, you know. Yeah. And that's nobody's, you know, that's nobody's fault. It just is what it is. But, and, and the other thing is, uh, obviously, you know, Walla Walla as a, as a town has definitely got more marketability. So. Um, and they've done a very good job of embracing that uh, tourism and that, that uh, the wine industry. So yeah, um, you do have to give thanks to them. Otherwise, we wouldn't even be in this situation. So yeah, uh, but I, I think what you just said though kind of underscores how well both sides of the board have worked together to, to to raise awareness of the Walla Walla ABA brand, if you will. You know. Yeah. So uh, having worked or since you do work with fruit from both sides of the border. Is there any preference one way or the other that you give? I mean, for example, uh, do you go for one varietal on the, on the Washington side versus, you know, Oregon or vice versa? I mean, how do you work that? Yeah, I mean, I think there's uniqueness to any, any uh, section of the state, you know. Um, I, have, I have preference of vineyard and, and varietal across the state, you know, really no matter where you go. Um, like pulling from uh, Horse Heaven Hills, I love Merlot's up there. Mm -hmm. um, Typically for me, the uh, the the Cabernets are a little overly tannic. You know, same same with like uh, Royal Slope here, and Merlots, Syrahs, delicious. You know, um, Walla Walla Cabernet, uh, Merlot. Uh, we found Franc to be delicious. You know, we we, we get enough uh, heat units and, and we get enough uh, maturation that uh, we can make some really fine wines out of some of these deep reds. So Petit Verdot is another one. You know, mm -hmm. but you go other parts of the state and you, you, uh, you just find a little little more difficulty in uh, maturation. Obviously, you know, by way of the farmer, uh, you can make things happen, but yeah. um, you, you bring a different different edge into it that uh, might make one varietal more, more interesting or, you know, uh, more attractive to the winemaker out of a different area. Yeah. If there was any uh, one thing that you would like to have anybody take away from specifically the Oregon side of the Walla Walla ABA, uh, border, uh, what would that be? Uh, you know, I mean, just uh, I, I would hope that they would see, uh, you know, 
how, how plentiful and, and uh, how, uh, how fortunate we are to, uh, out of this area to uh, have, have that uh, abundance of water that allows us to do what we need to do. And, and I think, you know, if I was to, to put it, I, I guess that's, that's how I put it. I mean, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful kind of uh, unknown valley. And I think people need to come in and discover it. It's got so many things that uh, it can offer to people. Definitely. You know, That's so. where we're here to help promote, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, anyway, well, thanks for sharing your wine. Thanks for your time today. We had a great tour through the cellar, and uh, I hope uh, people check you out, and they can find you at uh, the, the website is watermill, watermillwinery.com. Watermillwinery.com. So you can check out your wines, and they can, order, they can order off your website if they want. Yes. So cool, man. We'll look forward to yep. keeping pace with you and following you guys as you progress here. Thanks a lot. Thank